Good morning. Hello there. Hey, I wanted to pop in today to just share a little quick tip. Every week, um, you probably know this, I teach yoga. And every week in my yoga classes, I like to pick an oil for the week. And this week, well, actually this week the focus is on uh, cleansing, energy cleansing, detox, that kind of thing. And so I picked lemongrass. So I invited everyone to use a cleansing oil like tea tree or lemongrass. Um, and that's what I'm using, lemongrass. Which, by the way, I'm also a massage therapist and I love to use lemongrass like in a massage. So you can do it in a little self-massage. It's great for circulation, inflammation. You can add a couple drops of lemongrass and lavender. It's a great way to clear out stagnant energy in the body. Um, so after your shower, put a little a little essential oil blend into your lotion. Feels really, really nice. Um, but lemongrass is the, is the oil of cleansing. And it's a powerful energy cleanser. It clears out lower vibrations, negative stuff, stuff we've picked up along the way, stuff we don't need. And just helps us to connect with more clarity, more balance. Um, I'm reading here in my Essential Emotions book. It helps with um, clearing out the past, um, hoarding or attachment to having things a certain way, and any kind of limiting beliefs or bl uh, like blind, uh, what does it say, blind spots. So just clearing out that kind of stuff so that we can connect with um, a little more spiritual clarity, emotional clarity, mental clarity, and non-attachment non-attachment. So it doesn't mean we don't want to have goals and dreams and plans and intentions, but we can let go of some of the attachment or holding of having things a certain way and um, just releasing what we don't need. So whether you're using it in your cleaning, in your diffuser, which is a great like cleansing of the air, especially if you have any odors you want to get rid of, um, or you can use it with intention breathing it in and just think about whatever energy you are clearing and maybe it's a thought, maybe it's um, a, you know, a feeling you got from reading the news or social media, maybe it's um, just stuff, you're not even sure, it's just stuff that's accumulated. So we can use our oils like that with a little bit of intention, a little bit of pause and um, just bringing that that kind of mind-body connection into our essential oil experience. I think that's my Aunt Bunny. <laughs> Thanks for being here. So uh, another thing that I did today, I have this deck I just of unicorn cards. You know those free libraries that are all around neighborhoods these days, like in people's yards, there's a little box that says free library. Well, my daughter and I picked up a, a deck of these unicorn cards. It's like a unicorn, well, it's a rabbit riding a unicorn with, uh, with a rainbow. <laughs> of course, there's gotta be a rainbow. And the deck of car, call, cards is called Affirmators, and it's pretty cute. It's like the self-help deck for, uh, for people who, with non-self-helpiness, so like getting out of that. So the card that I picked today everyone's a teacher and yesterday was teacher appreciation day and my heart goes out to all the teachers doing amazing work showing up supporting so many students parents community and um and i know this last year in particular ah uh, and this last year in particular, like teachers have had to go above and beyond to figure out how to teach. How do we show up? How do we support? So my gratitude, thank you so much for all the teachers out there in the world doing this kind of work. So we need you, <laughs> we need you. And I'm a teacher too of sorts. And it's, um, it's been a really interesting time learning how, learning how to do what we do. But this card that I picked today goes with the, um, the oil that we're talking about today, lemongrass. So everyone's a teacher. <clears throat> and it has like a, it has a rhinoceros <laughs> with a graduation hat 
and it has a little mouse with a graduation hat. Like they're both graduate. They're both learning here. The little mouse and the rhino. Um, everyone I cross paths with is a teacher in that moment. The ones who give me the fun lessons are the ones I call quote unquote friends. The ones who give me the hard lessons I sometimes call quote unquote a-holes. <laughs> They've chosen a tough job, but someone's gotta do it. So today I'm thanking all the a-holes <laughs> Thank you, a-holes, for playing your part in making me a better person. <laughs> Why did I pick this? Well, it really, it can, I don't know, I just randomly picked the card. But what it connects with is that at any given moment, there are gifts, there are lessons. And even in this whole year of COVID, there have been many teachers along the way and all, all the other things that have been happening in the world and in our personal lives. Um, the gifts and the teachers, the lessons, come in many different shapes and forms. And so we can use our essential oils like lemongrass, the oil of cleansing, to clear out attachments to what is like good or bad, right or wrong. Attachments to just seeing things in black or white or just binary thinking. And be able to really embrace the whole experience from a more, you know, place of clarity and openness so we can learn and have some compassion and even some gratitude for maybe some of the challenges that we go through that teach us mm, some really important lessons, right? So that's how I'm using my lemongrass today and this week. I invite you to do the same. One of my favorite ways <clears throat> to use my oils, besides the ways I mentioned before, self-massage, using your diffuser, I love to just put a drop into my hands. And it's so simple. One little drop is a dose. You know, these oils are powerful. So one drop, that's all you need. Put a drop into your hands and then take, honestly, three breaths or more. Close your eyes. Take a few slow breaths. Mm. And let the aroma, let the energy of this oil clear and cleanse. And also bring your attention into the here and the now. And maybe connect with a feeling or an energy of how you want to feel. And with your sense of smell and that connection to your brain, anchor that feeling, that memory, that energy into your heart, your brain, your body. And then clearing and releasing whatever you no longer need. Take one more breath. Hmm. All right. I got to go. Lots of love. Have a great, great day and um, keep on keeping on. Embrace all the lessons. And when you find yourself getting caught up in stories, negative thinking, attachments to how things should be or shouldn't be, you can use your oils with intention to clear and release, clear and release and open up to the fullness of each moment. Namaste.